seated. Good evening. Welcome to December 2015 commencement for the College of Education Human Development at Lamar University. First of all, in your program, you're probably expecting to see Dr. Robert Spina. He's the dean of our college, but uh, he has attended a very important meeting in Austin, Texas, and is on his way back here as we speak. And hopefully he will return in time to say hello to some of you graduates later this evening. We gather today to recognize and honor our graduates for their tireless efforts, focused dedication, and deserved achievements in the demanding and competitive arena of higher education. For years, our graduates have been striving to reach the educational milestone, milestones we celebrate today. Graduates, you've made it. Congratulations to each of you on establishing your goal, on achieving your goal. It's now time to set new goals, and we challenge you to continue to learn, to use your knowledge wisely, and to excel throughout the rest of your life. Tonight, our graduates will receive 825 degrees. They are from 271 different cities in Texas and 20 states. We'd also like to point out tonight that the College of Education and Human Development is rapidly expanding its international footprint. Candidates, many people have supported you throughout uh, your life and studies. I would like for you to join me as we express our appreciation to them. Would the parents of our candidates please stand and receive our applause, all parents. Thank you. Okay, would the grandparents of our candidates please stand and be recognized? All grandparents. Thank you. Would the spouses, children, and grandchildren of our candidates stand and be recognized? Very good, thank you. And then finally, would the friends and other relatives of our candidates please stand and be recognized. Great, thank you. This evening, this evening we share in the joy and excitement of commencement with all of you. Thank all of you for joining us. We appreciate this large crowd so much. At the heart of the college is a supportive and nationally recognized or acclaimed faculty. They have provided our students with a contemporary and valuable higher education that is second to none. Due to their diligent, diligence and efforts, our graduates are knowledgeable, highly skilled, and properly prepared for life and careers. Would our faculty please stand and be recognized? Thank you. I'd like to introduce our platform uh, participants at this time. If you would, please hold your applause until all have been introduced. First of all, starting with uh, perhaps the most important person, our president, Dr. Kenneth Evans. Then, Dr. James Markhart, our, our Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Kevin Smith, Senior Associate Provost. William Her Harn, Dean of the College, uh, Graduate College. Dr. Lula Henry, Interim Chair of Teacher Education. And Abigail Dupin, our vocalist. Thank you, you may be seated. To stage left. Our speaker tonight, and I'll say more about him in just a few minutes, but Representative Dade Phelan, please stand. Dr. Cruz Melvin, Vice President for Finance and Operations. Dr. Kevin Dodson, Dean of the Rio Honors College. 
Dr. Amy Shows, Interim Chair of Family and Consumer Sciences, Dr. Doug Boatwright, Chair of Health and Kinesiology, Dr. R.J. Davis, Assistant Professor of Counseling and Special Populations, Talisa Thibodeau, Assistant Professor in Educational Leadership, and David Short, University Registrar. Thank you. There's one very special introduction I need to make, and that is of the wife of our speaker. I'd like to ask Kim Phelan to stand, please, Kim. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. And then also, with the rest of the Phelan family that might be in attendance, please stand at this time. Other Phelan fa family. Thank you so much. Candidates, let me again add my heartfelt congratulations and applaud you for the accomplishing this significant educational milestone. The university you uh, are receiving or about to receive remains relatively uncommon in our nation and is truly rare throughout the world. Only three of 10 American adults hold a baccalaureate degree. The percentage is smaller among Texans and smaller still among Southeast Texans. By any standard or measure, you are positioned to join the educational elite of our society. You have completed a difficult, taxing, and costly journey from where you started years ago. Please know that Lamar University is proud of you. The College of Education and Human Development is proud of you. Your community, your state, and nation are proud of you. Your family and friends, as was indicated a while ago, are proud of you. But most importantly, you should be proud of yourselves. Your university education has equipped you to receive and enjoy the riches of the world and has prepared you to continue to learn as you move into a new life. Enjoy and use your education to its fullest and you and everyone you touch will be more prosperous for it. It's now my pleasure to introduce our speaker for this evening, Representative Dade Phelan. Uh, Representative Phelan was born and raised in Beaumont, Texas, and is a 1994 graduate of Kelly High School. He received his bachelor's degree in government and business from the University of Texas at Austin in 1998. Mr. Phelan is a former legislative staff member to State Representative Mark Stiles, United States House Majority Leader Dick Armey, and State Senator Tommy Williams. Since 2006, Mr. Phelan has been a commercial and real estate developer and licensed broker in Southeast Texas. His fourth generation investment firm owns and manages retail, industrial, and office properties across Texas and Arkansas. Mr. Phelan is a two-time governor appointee to and former president of the Lower Natchez Valley Authority. He recently served as a board member to Southeast Texas CASA, Golden Triangle Coastal Conservation Association, the Jefferson Theater, St. Anne Catholic Church, and as a board secretary of Catholic Charities of Southeast Texas. In his first session, representing House District 21, Phelan was appointed to the powerful Appropriations Committee as well as the Appropriations Subcommittee on Education and Elections Committee. Capital Inside Magazine honored him as one of the 84th, 84th session freshmen of the year. Texas Conservative Coalition named him a 2015 Courageous Conservative. The Texas Association of Business selected him as a fighter for free enterprise, while Texas Right to Life included him as one of only 14 members on their honorable mention list. His wife, Kim, whom I introduced a few minutes ago, is a solo practitioner attorney, and together they have four boys, Ford, Mac, Hank, and Luke. Welcome, Mr. Phelan. We look forward to your comments. I have some very good news. That introduction will be longer than the speech, so. <laughs> I know I'm one of a few people in between y'all and a big party tonight, so I, I will not uh, speak for 45 minutes, um, but 
thank you, uh, President Evans, uh, Provost Morquette, and uh, Dr. Holmes for that kind introduction. Members of the faculty and staff, but most importantly, thank you, the graduating class, for including me tonight on your very special evening. The, uh, first of all, y'all look fantastic. You look smart. Um, y'all have a lot more color on your, on your outfits than I did when I graduated. I was pretty jet black. Um, I was kind of hoping a, a bird would poop on my shoulder so it had some color as I walked down the aisle. But um, I wasn't so fortunate. On the way over here, uh, we, my wife and I were talking, and she said, uh, are you nervous? It's going to be a huge crowd. It's all these graduates um, coming in. And I said, no, I'm excited. This, are, are you not excited? Have you, have you ever thought in your wildest dreams that I would be giving a commencement address at Lamar University? And she said, you don't exist in my wildest dreams. <laughs> so the answer is no. But seriously, it, it is an honor to be here tonight. I, I appreciate y'all including me. Um, you know, a slogan I often see around, around Lamar's campus is living the legacy and inventing the future. And I thought that was an appropriate subject to discuss here tonight. Um, Lamar's past is future and, and you all, uh, the graduates tonight. Um, many of you probably cl completed your degree uh, on the highly acclaimed online program that Lamar has. Um, so you may not appreciate how far this university has come in a very short time. And so, you know, just to give you a very brief, very brief history, you know, I graduated from high school, like the introduction said, about 22 years ago, and um, right here in Beaumont, Texas. And as a person, uh, you know, as a young person, I visited this campus for two reasons. It was for, it was for basketball games and to take the SAT. And um, it, it, this, this school was not a choice for me. It was not an option. It wasn't an option for quite a few of my generation, to be quite, quite frank. Southeast Texas wasn't an option. In, in, the, in the 80s and early 90s, times were tough here, uh, both in this community and, and at the university. And um, you know, enrollment was down. Uh, there's no doubt about it. The uh, facilities were unattractive. They were old. They were antiquated. The uh, morale was suffering. I think that's a fair statement. And um, support from the state legislature in Austin and from the al alumnus, it was scarce. And so to kind of the next year, I go to Austin and uh, I get a job as a, a young staffer for state representative Mark Stiles. It was 1995 and um, it was the 84th legislative session and he represented Jefferson County. He actually had the same seat that I have right now, House District 21, kind of a Weird the way the world works. You never know where you're going to end up. Same phone number, 512-463-0706. I answered it every day. But now it's my name that they call out when you answer it. It's kind of cool. But um, that year in Austin, a major change occurred. And uh, I had a front row seat as a, as a young, young man. Representative Stiles passed House Bill 2313. And for those of you who may not be from this community or maybe you're too young to remember, but that bill it abolished the Lamar border regions. And it placed this university underneath the Texas State University system. And it was a very contentious time. The community was divided over the future of Lamar. And as contentious as it may have been, it was absolutely necessary for the future of this school. And uh, if this university was gonna prosper and survive, it was gonna have to reinvent itself. And such a magnitude of change, as you can imagine, for a university that's been around for decades, it does not occur overnight. It will not occur overnight. And as many in the crowd, maybe some professors who may have been here at that time, I know many on the dice can attest that there was plenty of ups and downs since 1995. And it truly took a village to turn this university around. And what a turnaround this university has had. A true renaissance has occurred here at Lamar University and if you fast forward to today, Lamar has a booming enrollment of 15,000 students, a 78% increase from just 10 years ago. Think about that. It offers over 100 bachelor, master's, and doctoral programs, a staff and faculty of over 1,200 and even recently recognized, as I said, as a leading national online research university. 
2,500 students now call its 270-acre campus home. That's probably a 99% increase from when I step, first stepped foot on Lamar campus as a high school student. There, no one lived on campus. So that's a monumental feat in and of itself. Alumni support and involvement in this university is at an all-time high, and most importantly, football is back, right? This community cannot thank Dr. Jimmy Simmons and Chancellor Brian McCall and Dr. Ken Evans enough. Their individual efforts really stand out in my mind as, as individuals who, who, who push this university in, into the 21st century. And speaking of Dr. Evans, you all know him as a brilliant educator and a leader, um, but he's also a great salesman. And I hear he fishes okay, correct? Yeah. Well, he is a great salesman, and I tell you, he develops and he markets his product very, very well. And his product happens to be you all, it happens to be the students here at Lamar University. So he arrived in Austin this past March, um, ready to sell you to the House Appropriations Committee. He was new, I was new, so uh, it, was a, it was a new round for both of us. But, and by the way, I highly advise if you ever have trouble sleeping at night, pull up some House Appropriations Committee meetings, listen to them, You'll be asleep within maybe two or three minutes. But presidents and chancellors from across the state of Texas, numbering into the hundreds, came to the, to the committee. In a very short time, they testified to the dire needs of their respective campuses. And Dr. Evans, to give him credit in his first appropriations committee uh, appearance, and it's an intimidating group, um, he was quickly able to distinguish Lamar universities from all the other institutions of higher learning, in my opinion. Um, his thoughts and ideas were innovative, and they reflected a university that was finally thinking outside the box. And after hundreds of hours of testimony, it was obvious how far Lamar has come in creating an exceptional niche in higher education. And, you know, furthermore, this university is doing it with a student population by and large, first-generation college graduates, many of whom have a full-time or part-time job. It's an exceptional story, especially when you're in Austin, Texas, and you can distinguish yourself in that manner. So kudos to Dr. Evans and uh, to all y'all as well, but y'all really stood out a a amongst a group of people who are tasked with representing 27 million. So I can tell you on that note, being a member of the Appropriations Committee, uh, I can confirm that a government, governmental body's budget is truly reflective of its priorities. If you want to know what a government body cares about, look at the budget. Where are they spending the money? The state of Texas invests more of its resources on education than any other item. I don't think a lot of people realize that. 37.4% of the state budget is invested in education. Now. I said invest, I didn't say spend, I didn't say appropriate, because I truly believe, like many others, that sp spending money on education is not spending, it's an investment. And so, you know, through efforts of the local delegation, Lamar finally received that long overdue investment. And I tell you, a much needed change in the funding formula will result in millions of additional dollars to Lamar University. Uh, I think upwards of $19 million per biennium. The higher education fund was double, uh, actually increased by 50%, which would allow Lamar additional opportunities to access funding for land acquisitions and building renovation and new construction and tuition revenue bonds. This is a, uh, it sounds like a boring thing, but a tuition revenue bond is a tool that every university or college in the state of Texas has had the opportunity to use. Lamar has never gotten one. They've been around since 1980. That, that changed this session. Lamar University got their first tuition revenue bond, and they're gonna use that by building a $60 million science building, replacing the old biology building that was, that was built about 1970, uh, five years before I was even born. And that's really, it, it sounds like an easy thing to get done, but you know, when you're going against the University of Texas and Texas A&M and University of Houston and Texas Tech, when you can come out ahead of those guys, I think you had a pretty good, pretty good session. Um, there'll be new degree opportunities here at Lamar, a uh, degree in port management and a center for air and water quality, two brand new programs, um, exceptional items that were funded. And as a politician, I will certainly take credit for all this. 
and being a politician, I'm also prone to exaggeration. But truly, uh, Dr. Evans, Chancellor McCall, and, and really all the dedicated staff and faculty who've constantly pushed this university in new directions, they really are do all the credit. Um, I'm just a, a, a guy with a name on the door. But, you know, when you run for office, people are constantly asking you, you know, why are you running? What do you want to accomplish? And the answer is easy. I just want to grow the population of Southeast Texas. Who here is from Southeast Texas? All right, and probably quite a few in the crowd. Well, I'll tell you, the population in Jefferson County has been dead flat since 1960. The rest of the state has tripled in that same time frame. And, you know, more people mean more jobs. More jobs mean a better quality of life. Sounds easy enough. You know, how do you do it? You know, the task is difficult. The answer is really easy. You know, we just need more smart people. That's it, right? More smart people like y'all. I mean, I'm looking at the answer right now. Um, this area will not grow and thrive without, you know, and succeed without this institution thriving. Lamar must continue to produce more smart people. And, uh, you know, although I spoke about the achievements here and in Austin, Lamar can't, and public ed education cannot produce results without a fantastic and a high quality workforce. So we, I, Southeast Texas, the state of Texas, is, is really relying on the new skill sets that you're celebrating tonight to transform the, mi transform the minds of children, young adults, and, and grown men and women. A teacher is someone who by definition educates and, and you know, we all know it does not stop at instruction. You will need a mentor, counsel, encourage, guide, motivate, discipline, and inspire. And fortunately, with some of today's young students, you will even have to be, to some extent, a parent. You know, you're dedicated, you're, you're hardworking, you wouldn't be here tonight. Uh, you will be successful, and you will produce more smart people. Am I right? Am I right, educators? Excellent. Yeah. So wherever you go, whether it's not Southeast Texas, you know, your community will grow. I think Southeast Texas will grow. And once again, I'll take all the credit. One final thing, and it's the last thing you want to hear this evening, but during my own college graduation, I attended a speech where a very renowned patent attorney was speaking about the future job market over the next two decades, which is about where we are right now. He predicted that graduates would change employers five times and careers three times. And I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, he's 100% correct. I'm, I'm, I'm about right there already, and uh, I'm only 40 years old. So likewise, I predict many of you will experience another graduation if you're not already experiencing your second graduation or your third graduation. And you know, many of you will continue to hone your skills and perfect them and your expertise within your field of education will improve, and many of you will absolutely change career paths. But like I said earlier, Lamar University and the state of Texas will be here to make certain that you have the resources to continue living your legacy and reinventing your future. And so truly it's an honor like none other to represent many of you in this room and the state of Texas and the House of Representatives. If anything I could ever do for y'all, you call my wife, Kim. Um, she'll be happy to help you. But I really thank you all for including me in your very special evening. Uh, you've had a, it's a huge accomplishment. And uh, best of luck to you all. And God bless you. And God bless the great state of Texas. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Phelan. We appreciate so much. Uh, First of all, just who you are, but especially your support for Lamar University. We will now have the uh, certification of graduates. President Evans, please join me. Will the candidates for the master's, baccalaureate, and doctoral degrees please stand and remain standing? All of you. President Evans, 
On behalf of the faculty of the various departments, I am pleased to present the candidates who have met all the requirements for the degrees listed. Thank you, Dr. Holmes. And also thank you, Representative Phelan, for your comments tonight. You know, I used to run marathons, and I, they were really easy to start. They were a bugger to finish. And much like you, you're at the finish line. Congratulations. I have the best job tonight. I get to confer your degree. So, by the authority vested in me and Lamar University by the Board of Regents of Texas State University system, I confer upon you the degree for which you've been certified, admitting you to all the rights and privileges which throughout the world pertain to those degrees. In keeping with the university tradition symbolizing change, please move your tassel from the front right to the left. Graduates, my sincerest congratulations. You may be seated. President Evans and guests, we now have the presentation of the College of Education and Human Development's graduating class of 2015, beginning with the doctoral and master's candidates, followed by baccalaureate candidates in the order published in the program. Dr. Marquardt, please come forward and present our doctoral candidates. <clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Holmes. <clears throat> I am pleased to present the name of Florence Elise Atkins and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Jennifer Butcher. Ms. Atkins has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership degree. Ms. Atkins and Dr. Butcher, please come forward to the platform. <clears throat> Congratulations, Dr. Atkins. I'm pleased to present the name of Deja Lene Anderson <clears throat> and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Sandra Harris. Ms. Anderson has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of, Ed Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Ms. Anderson and Dr. Harris, please come to the platform. Congratulations, Dr. Anderson. I'm pleased to present the name of Amanda Elizabeth Austin and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Sandra Harris. Ms. Austin has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Ms. Austin and Dr. Harris, please come to the platform. Congratulations, Dr. Austin. <clears throat> I'm pleased to present the name of Jill Margaret Blankenship and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Kay Shelton. Ms. Blankenship has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Ms. Blankenship and Dr. Shelton, please come to the platform. Congratulations, Dr. Blankenship. I'm pleased to present the name of Pamela Jo Bryant and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Jennifer Butcher. Ms. Bryant has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Ms. Bryant and Dr. Butcher, please come to the platform. Congratulations, Dr. Bryant. I'm pleased to present the name of Cindy Elizabeth Coker and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Diane Mason. Ms. Coker has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies 
<clears throat> and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Ms. Coker and Dr. Mason, please come forward to the platform. Congratulations, Dr. Coker. <clears throat> I'm pleased to present the name of Shelby Lynn Davidson and, her, and his doctoral advisor, Dr. Jennifer Butcher. Mr. Davidson has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Mr. Davidson and Dr. Butcher, please come to the platform. Congratulations, Dr. Davidson. I'm pleased to present the name of Vivian Leanne Fisher and her doctoral advisors, Dr. Sandra Harris and Dr. Johnny O'Connor. <clears throat> Ms. Fisher has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Ms. Fisher, Dr. Harris, and Dr. O'Connor, please come to the platform. Congratulations, Dr. Fisher. I'm pleased to present the name of Belinda George and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Jennifer Butcher. Ms. George has been recommended by the Dean of, of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Ms. George and Dr. Butcher, please come to the platform. Congratulations, Dr. George. I'm pleased to present the name of Lisa Ann Gonzalez and her doctoral advisors, Dr. Johnny O'Connor and Dr. Jennifer Butcher. <clears throat> Ms. Gonzalez has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Ms. Gonzalez, Dr. O'Connor, and Dr. Butcher, please come to the platform. Congratulations. Almost, there it is. Congratulations, Dr. Gonzalez. I'm pleased to present the name of Sharon Benita Holland and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Diane Mason. Ms. Holland has been recommended by the graduate, Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Ms. Holland and Ms. Dr. Mason, please come forward. And congratulations, Dr. Holland. I am pleased to present the name of Evan Michael Lieberman and his doctoral advisors, Dr. Jennifer Butcher and Dr. Clementine Mensangi. <clears throat> Mr. Lieberman has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Mr. Lieberman, Dr. Butcher, and Dr. Nsangi, please come to the platform. Congratulations, Dr. Lieberman. I'm pleased to present the name of Stephen Frank Lopez and his doctoral advisor, Dr. Jennifer Butcher. <clears throat> Mr. Lopez has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Mr. Lopez and Dr. Butcher, please come to the platform. Congratulations, Dr. Lopez. I'm pleased to present the name of Tamari Lynn Mariani and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Sandra Harris. <clears throat> Ms. Mariani has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Please come forward.
Congratulations, Dr. Mariani. I'm pleased to present the name of Vicki Lynn Marshall and her doctor advisor, Dr. Sandra Harris. Ms. Marshall has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Ms. Marshall and Dr. Harris, please come forward. Congratulations, Dr. Marshall. <clears throat> I'm pleased to present the name of Roxanne Marie Minix Wilkins and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Jennifer Butcher. Ms. Minix Wilkins has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies for the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Congratulations, Dr. Minix Wilkins. I'm pleased to present the name of Andrea Linda Marino Hewitt and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Jennifer Butcher. Ms. Marino Hewitt has been recommended by the Dean of the Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Please come forward. Congratulations, Dr. Marina Hewitt. I'm pleased to present the name of Anthony C. Moten and his doctoral advisor, Dr. Jennifer Butcher, Ms. Moten, or Mr. Moten, sorry about that, has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Please come forward. There you go. Congratulations, Dr. Moten. <clears throat> I'm pleased to present the name of Angel LaDonna Murphy and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Sandra Harris. Ms. Murphy has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Ms. Murphy and Dr. Harris, please come to the platform. Congratulations, Dr. Murray. I'm pleased to present the name of Lilia Granada Nanez and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Sandra Harris. Ms. Ma Nanez has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Please come forward. And congratulations, Dr. Nanez. I'm pleased to present the name of Deborah Revere Oji and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Sandra Harris. Ms. Oji has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Ms. Oji and Dr. Harris, please come to the platform. Congratulations, Dr. Oji. I'm pleased to present the name of Dejari Lynn Patton and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Jennifer Butcher. Ms. Patton has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Congratulations, Dr. Patton. <clears throat> I'm pleased to present the name of Alicia Devance DeVoice Sagi and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Sandra Harris. Ms. Sagi has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Please come forward. Congratulations, Dr. Sagi. I'm pleased to present the name of Gregory Chase Thomas and his doctoral advisor, Dr. Jennifer Butcher. Mr. Thomas has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty 
for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Congratulations, Dr. Thomas. I'm pleased to present the name of Helen Faye Weisenhunt and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Sandra Harris. <clears throat> Ms. Weisenhunt has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Please come forward. Congratulations, Dr. Weisenhunt. I'm pleased to present the name of Kathleen Elise Williams and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Jennifer Butcher. Ms. Williams has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Congratulations, Dr. Williams. I'm pleased to present the name of Ronald John Wright and his doctoral advisor, Dr. Jennifer Butcher. Ms. Mr. Wright has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degree. Congratulations, Dr. Wright. And now we will proceed with the master's degree candidates and then the baccalaureate candidates. For Master of Education in Clinical Mental Health Counseling, Mary Deborah Holman Anderson. Cheryl Robin Schrader. For Master of Education in School Counseling, Lauren D. Allen. Rebecca Aurora Aparicio. Quinetti Latrice Andres Arsino. Kamaria Zakia Armstrong. Courtney Cerise Avila. <laughs> Melissa Diane Baggs. <laughs> Len Lenora Smith Barnes. <laughs> Latricia Antoinette Batiste. <laughs> Carrie Elizabeth Batson. Beverly Jean Bedell. <laughs> Diana Lynn Bedeger. <laughs> Janet Beth Blake. <laughs> Catherine Josephine Blonde. <laughs> Tamara K. Bolden. Amanda Boone. Demetria Catherine Burleson. Kristen Sharice Butler. Sylvia Cabrera. 
Sylvia Leal Carriel. Courtney Page Casebeer. Elizabeth Ray Castine. Maria Castillo Rodriguez. Shirley M. Colley Williams. Jenny Ann Chapman. Maria Elena Chavez. Vanessa Chavez. Cheryl Lynn Connor. Aaron Elizabeth Cox. Patricia Ann Cross. Star Nicole Cruz. Rebecca DeVille. Nakisha Nicole Dickey. Elida Moreno Dominguez. Sandra Kathleen Dunn. M. Alejandra Duran. Kobe Michelle Dykus. Terry Michelle Evans. Fedelina Flores. Amanda Noel French. Alina Renee Garcia. Jessica Garcia. Michelle Weda Garoni. Leticia? Leticia? Leticia Cantu Garza. Krista Counts Gibbs. Catherine Gonzalez. Pauline Melinda Goosey. Stephanie Renee Gunner Keys. Angela Joe Harris. Lashandralyn Harrison. Chandra Lynn Harvey. Misty Dawn Havlak. Lizette Hernandez. Claudia I. Hernandez Rivera. Audra Ann Herrera. Ashley Elizabeth Hicks. Alicia Tyson Hill. Angela Michelle Hollingsworth. Celeste Dion Howell. Geisamel Humes. Deborah Lee Izagari. Amber Elise Natasha James. Margo Brewster James. Leanne Jernigan. Shaniqua Lashan Jeter. Keyshawn Johnson. Sheena Marie Johnson. 
Latila Nicole Jones. Michael Brent Jones. Nicole A. Jones. Tara Aranita Jones. Aaron Michelle Kelly. Nisha Reina Khan. Kelly Ann Kilpatrick. Stephanie Kubala. Wakita Rochelle Lamb. Tanya Marie Landman. Aaron Paige LeBrock. Roberto Larma. Lisa Bird Loper. Laura Brooke Lowe. William Charles Lumpkins. Ivan Luna. Ashley Megan Mark. Ezalina Maraquin. Amanda Lee Martin. Kristen Michelle Martindale. Erica Monique McKenzie. Lindsay Lane McKinney. Jennifer Shea Medina. Susanna Medina. Latoya Clamos Mills. Christina Julieta Miranda. Kathleen, Kathleen Bauer Montenegro. Anitra Delena Moore. Brittany Janae Wheaton. Swaza McKinsey. Rosie Saswa Muninvez. Hilda Lizette Munoz. Rebecca Nehira Panales. Summer Lee Norman. Marilyn Marie Norris. Christy Ann Ochoa. Robin Ann Olson. Christina Adriana Ordonez. Meredith Nicole Owen. Tiffany Nicole Page. Cicely A. Parker. Kristen Michelle Potagil. Crystal Lauren Pope. Christine Nicole Price. Lois Ann Redden. Elisa Reina Espitia. 
Karen Gerard Rhymes. Megan Leanna Riggins. Sandra R. Roberts. Courtney Robertson. Selena Jackson Robertson. Crystal Lynn Robinson. Andrea Joe Rogers. Alfonso Sagun. Gina Castaneda Sanchez. Jennifer Elaine Simpson. Kayla Marie Sparks. Emily Ann Stanley. Candace Rochelle Silvis. Tyranny Jerry Taylor. Stacy A. Teague. Courtney Tennille Thomas. Rebecca Ann Thrush. Delia Marie Trahan. <laughs> Melissa D. Trekka. Casey Cheyenne Trent. Gloria Vargas. Alex Tia Vasquez. Joshua Winston Wadsworth. Jessica Lane Walker. Jordan Lynn Ward. Martina Delgado. Delagadillo, Washington. Dawn Christine White. Angela Marie Will. Lisa Suzanne Wood. Jenny Ray. Jill Elizabeth Young. For Master of Education in Special Education, Luisa Margarita Aviles. Jimmy Ray DeRowan. Mandy Elizabeth Forrester. Nicole Michelle Guidry. Christopher Thomas Pitts. Celestine M. Purification. Karen Lynn Taylor. Lisa C. Yanagida.
Master of Education in Administration. Celeste Amaguer Acosta. Jamail Deshawn Adams. Joel William Alafa. Nicholas Ray Allen. Ernest R. Bainridge. Michelle Sarah Beer. Jeffrey Neil Bennett. Stephanie Marie Berger. Kimberly Elise Ward Bonine. Jonathan Joseph Budiske. Chad Michael Bronowski. Cedric Lamarck Caligari. Lisa McEnroth Campbell. Dora Alicia Cantu. Kanidra Vishan Chambers Dick. Jared Norvell Chandler. Ashley K. Colquitt. Allison Patrick Crow. Elizabeth Michelle Cunningham. Ty Elizabeth Davis. Ralph De La Rosa. Sarah Jean Dorsey. Jennifer Lee DeGaulle. Lacey Nicole Duvall. Cesar Eden Castro. Ebony Desiree Wallace. Tiffany Monique Saunders. Cappy Wilson Edwards. Samaya El Halu. Derek Wayne Fletcher. Chad Lee Flisowski. Andrew Mark Gandred. Benjamin Jared Garcia. Flor Acosta Garcia. Christina Martinez Garza. Amber Marie Glynn. Adam Denham Graham. Jessica Nicole Graham. O'Brien Dante Hardway. Ryan Alexander Hennessy. Daryl Lee Hooker Jr. Jessica Michelle Hoover. Aaron Taniel Hudson. Lindsey Clay Huggins. Genesis Janae Humphrey. Nicole Lee Hunt. Kalobi Reed Isaacs. Marquina Boutte Jackson. Yay! 
Vermal Oliver Jones. Brittany Megan Kester. Suzanne Sanner Coyle. Chad Edward Landry. Jessica Ray Lasker. Raphael Joseph Levan III. Devin Rose Lee. Shatina Marie Lewis. Shane Anthony Lawrence. Thailand Charles Long. Zerica Lopez. Margaret Mary Locks. Ron Keith Loyacano Jr. Beatrice Adriana Macias. Ernesto Macias. Mateo Macias. Daniela Ray Martinez. Miranda Ann Mott. Giovanna Yvette McCauley. Michael John McCarthy, Jr. Georgina Inez Medina. Georgette Elizabeth Milkey. Ian Mitchell. LaShondra Antoinette Mitchell. Rachel Melinda Montgomery. Melinda K. Moreno. Stephanie Graham Mulvaney. Tracy Blackwell Newman. Ashley Ray Odom. Blanca Estela Pacheco. Lisa Roshan Parker. Lourdes Pascal. Elida Ramirez. LaShonda Marie Renee Reeves. Angela Sarubi Rhodes. Brandy Nicole Robinette. Letitia Ann Robles. Jennifer Michelle Rosenquist. Lori Wercesic Russell. Judy Lynn Salinas. Jolie Shay Scott. Maria Dolores Shelton. Rush Grant Shelton. Angela Beth Slicker. Lisa Grafio Swallow. Ryan Roderick Solano. Velma Maria Spears. Mary Catherine St. Clair. 
Jennifer Graham Talmage. Cheryl Lynn Tamborello. <laughs> Melanie J. Taylor. <laughs> Teresa Rose Turlick. <laughs> Meko Minix Timmins. <laughs> Jessica Lane Titus. Kendi Dawn Tomhave. Abdullah Zundari. Samantha Nicole Vernig. David Clinton Walker. Elizabeth A. Waltman. Coleman Grant Wands. Carol Jeanette Watson. Joseph Michael Wellborn. Janae Marie Whitner. Michael Glenn Jensen. Shane Edward Zelensky. For the Master of Education and Educational Technology Leadership, Angel Marie Buchanan. Michelle Casas. Jeannie Elizabeth Corley. Ernesto Cruz. Jamie Davis. Cherie Yvette Diggles. Driana Lee Drummond. Catherine Ashley Givens. Geraldine Jerome Kennedy II. Oh. Jamie Lynn Longoria. Brooke Ashley Lowry. Christine Maury Magrita. Frank David McDonald II. Stephanie Marie McIntyre. Rosella M. Offord. Melissa Ann Simasek. Natasha Dion Simmons. Sarah Lee Sweat. Jamie Nicole Texera. Master of Science in Family Consumer Science, Brittany M. Colvin, Christina Brandy Ann Maxwell, Master of Science in Kinesiology. Victor John Bonner, Jr. Madura D. Palande. Master of Education in Teacher Leadership. Jessica Vanessa Arroyo. <laughs> Valerie Nicole Barrera. <laughs> Lindsay Renee Bodding. 
Deborah Joyce Campbell. Daleen Ross Carter. Josephus D. Carter. Christina Margaret Colbert. Ayana Felicia Davis. Jamie Marie Fontenot. <laughs> Rachel Marie Francis. Carlita Joseph Cotton. Amy Elaine Green. Courtney Brooke Harrison. Chastity Echo Johnson. Kristen Paige Jones. Kara Deanne Lineback. Stacy Tyree Logan. Donna Lynn McClarity. Tashada Marie Scott. Ingrid Vicente Shores. Jennifer Lynn Whitehead. For Bachelor of Science in Family Studies. Chelsea Yvonne Bryant. Margaret Deanna Campbell. <laughs> Stephanie Kanisha Kane. <laughs> Chastity Christine Lowe. Jessica Lynn Prescott. Rustina Regina Sams. Bachelor of Science in Interior Design. Morgan Faith Gilbreth. Amin Shamal Zadeh. For Bachelor of Science in Nutrition, Dietetics, and Hospitality, Jordan Edward Benson. Marcella Ann Ferris. Joshua Gerard Fontenot. Joshua Nathaniel Guevara. Chelsea Elizabeth Kilcoin. Krishana R. King Peavy.
Ifan Choklo Yuroku Chukwu Okolo. Lindsay Nicole Arand. Jessica Ann Ringler. Sean Mitchell Stevens, cum laude. Olivia Latrice Stewart. Maggie C. Stump. Krista Joanne Vera. Ian Anderson Wilson. Emily Elise Zerniel. For Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science and Fitness Management. Morgan Kindle Ira Bacon. Jasmine Shernice Bradley. Anna Katrina Cruz, cum laude. Sean Conrad Ciprin. Hossein Gabulian Zair, cum laude. Michael Wayne Hargis, the sixth. <laughs> Yuso Vilo Leitikin, cum laude. Blake Allen Lelux. Cum laude. Mallory Alyssa Lovingood. Mallory Alyssa Lovingood. Lauren Nicole Meeks. Julian Christopher Morgan. Summa cum laude. Denisha Cherie Nichols. Festus Osifiso. Brandy Lynn Trahan. Catherine Wu, cum laude. for Bachelor of Science in Health. Mercedes Nicole Overton. Fantor Sacker, second degree in Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science and Fitness Management. Justin Anthony Widden. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology. Christopher Douglas Burdett. For Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies. Toby Ayo Vaughn. Samantha Jackson Berry.
Macy Sue Benoit, summa cum laude. Krista Marie Bergeron, magna cum laude. Kelly Leanne Bilbo. Carol Denise Blackman, summa cum laude. Mallory K. Burnaman. Morgan Taylor Casas, summa cum laude. Ashley Marie Compien. Timberland Marie Cook. Stacy Lynn Ebner, cum laude. Kayla M. Ferresi. Alexis Garrett. Ashley Davis Garza, cum laude. Megan Beatrice Haley. Sarah Larkin Henderson, summa cum laude. Brittany Ann Jackson. Nichelle Annette Jennings, magna cum laude. Kirsten Blaise Lamb, cum laude. Allison Noel Landry, magna cum laude. Kiana Michelle Lewis. Jennifer Faye Mann, magna cum laude. Monica Renee Menino, summa cum laude. Teresa Nicole Marble. Jana Jet Millich. Chelsea Nicole Neely, summa cum laude. Kim Twee Nguyen, magna cum laude. Lucy Kim Nguyen, magna cum laude. Sydney Clark Patterson. Carol Reyes, cum laude. Alexis Kimberly Presswood, summa cum laude. Haley Nicole Rodriguez, cum laude. Brianna Paige Ross. Shannon Nicole Sane. Taylor Janine Sawmill. Heather Nicole Sewell.
Jessica Alice Shoemaker, second degree and Bachelor of Arts in American Sign Language, summa cum laude. Randy Renee Tibbetts. Paige Nicole Tweekram, magna cum laude. Olivia Marie Wynn, summa cum laude. Dorian Javon Young. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2015. Good evening. My name is Bob Spina, and I have the privilege of serving as the Dean of the College of Education and Human Development. At this time, I would like to ask all of our graduates to stand. This is always my favorite part in the ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2015. Please be seated. I think we also should uh, give some special recognition to our readers this evening who did just a fantastic job. Our next award is the Plummer Awards, and the Plummer Award honors the, the baccalaureate graduates with the highest grade point average in their graduating class. Would the following graduates please come forward and receive your certificate and check from President Evans. Macy Sue Benoit, GPA 4.0. Taylor Janae Samel, GPA 4.0. Graduates, today you join more than 80,000 others throughout the world who are Lamar alumni. I would like to take this opportunity to extend to each of you an invitation to join Lamar's Alumni Association. Alumni membership provides continual involvement with the university and college by providing networking, 
and opportunities to help other students achieve what you have achieved. I encourage you to join this important arm of the university. The Alumni Association has friendly people waiting to greet you and will be in touch. Of course, you can always find them through Lamar's website. Please join. And in my final remarks, I would like to say, graduates, that as you go forward in your professional lives, I would like to leave you with something that a very wise person left with me a very long time ago. As you advance in your careers, this will bring promotions and additional compensation. All of this is a very good thing, and we all wish this for all of you. However, please understand that career advancement comes with greater responsibility. This additional responsibility means making decisions that will influence people, and in some cases, large numbers of people. How does one navigate making those decisions? And what I'd like to leave you with is four things. One, maintain your integrity. Two, do the right thing, even when that is the most difficult option presented to you. Three, stand for the truth. And four, never give up your independence of thought. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2015. Go Cardinals. Fol following the recessional, we will host a reception in front of the Montaigne Center under the large tent. All graduates and guests are invited to mingle with our faculty, enjoy refreshments, and maybe even pose for a picture or two. I hope to see you there. And please stand at this time for the singing of Lamar's alma mater. Thank mm -hmm. you.